Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 4.6 acre wooded home site. This property has a creek along the entire north boundary, road frontage along the entire south boundary. There's electricity, water, telephone, and internet already in place. And this is our first property in the state of Oklahoma. This is the property highlighted in green on the interactive map, and it's 4.6 acres. It's covered with dense, mature trees of varying species and sizes. If we look along the north boundary, you can see this is Anderson Creek. This is a named creek that runs along the entire north boundary of the property. This is a photo of Anderson Creek, and here are a couple additional photos of Anderson Creek. You have roughly 205 feet of frontage along Anderson Creek. And if we look over here to the west just a little bit, you can see this bridge right here goes over Anderson Creek. So this is a significant creek that runs along the entire north boundary of the property. So it's an amazing attribute. And then along the entire south boundary, you have road frontage. This is a maintained road along the entire south boundary of the property. And then you have electricity lines and poles already in place, water lines, private water lines, to the property along with telephone and internet so the only thing that you'll have to do is just install a septic system. If we zoom out you can see that the property is just north of Sardis Lake. Sardis Lake is 14,360 acres with 117 miles of shoreline which is great for hiking, camping, fishing, and boating. It's popular for fishing catfish, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, shad, and bluegill. There's also over 8,000 acres open for hunting of deer, black bear, wild turkey, squirrel, and waterfowl. Here are some photos of Sardis Lake. This is a church that's on Sardis Lake. These photos were taken in the late fall, which is why we see the vibrant colors when the leaves are changing. You can see that several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties. Here's a landowner that built a nice log home. You can see several more up here. There's one right here, one right here, one right here. Here's another nicer, newer home. The elevation on the southern portion of the property with the road frontage is around 880 feet. And then the low elevation point along Anderson Creek is roughly 650 feet. You're in close proximity to State Highways 1 and 2. The city of McAllister is just to the northwest of the property. There's about a population of around 18,000. In addition to Sardis Lake, you have hundreds of thousands of acres of public land available nearby, including both state parks and national forest land. Here's some more photos. In this image right here, the property would be roughly right around here. So you'd have the road frontage along the north boundary, which would be the high point. And then the property slopes down to Anderson Creek, which you see right here. And this is a photo of that bridge that we looked at with Anderson Creek flowing underneath it. And you can see the width of the creek in this photo. It is a significant creek. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. The road frontage along the boundary is roughly 265 feet. Then you have the roughly 205 feet of frontage along Anderson Creek. Now we're east of the property looking west. There again you can see Anderson Creek. This is the bridge that we've looked at a couple times. Now we're north of the property looking south south. There's Sardis Lake. And now we're west of the property looking east. Here's the road that comes in and runs along the entire north boundary and there's Anderson Creek. All these white circles represent nearby landowners that have developed their properties to varying degrees. In the photos that we showed you of the nearby developed properties, those were right around here near the property. We're only about 19 minutes from the town of Clayton. Clayton has a population around a thousand and in Clayton, you'll find grocery supplies, restaurants, fuel, banks, and churches. About 25 minutes to Talihina, which is an even larger town, almost uh, about 2,000 population. There's also groceries, restaurants, supplies, a hospital. About 33 minutes from Wilburton. Wilburton is even larger, uh, about 2,600 population. Lots of supplies and amenities. About 35 minutes from the Talamina State Park, where you can enjoy hiking, camping, biking, and sightseeing. It's a very popular area. Here are some travel information about the area. This is the Talamina National Scenic Byway. It's incredibly beautiful. About 52 minutes to McAllister, Oklahoma. McAllister has a population of over 18,000, so pretty much anything you need you can find in McAllister. About 2 hours and 25 minutes from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which has a population of over 400,000. About 2 hours and 49 minutes to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, which has a population of nearly 650,000. Then you're just a short 3-hour drive from the Plano, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. We have this 4.6 acre wooded home site with the creek along the entire north boundary, the road frontage along the entire south boundary, 
with the utilities already in place, price at just 60000 All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $73 a year for the entire parcel. There are no HOA fees. There's no time limit to build. There's some light covenants in place to protect the integrity of the community, which you can download those right here. The minimum dwelling size for a one-story dwelling is only 1,200 square feet and then only 900 square feet for a one and a half or a two-story dwelling. And in this community, they count the garage square footage towards the total square footage of the dwelling. But again, you can download those covenants right here on our website, landio.com. We have all of the distances to the nearby points of interest with links where you can view more information about those locations. We have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open up the GPS coordinates on a Google map. There are over 80 photos and this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed this buy now button automatically changes to out of stock. There is only one of these properties available so only one person can place a deposit on the property. We sell our properties on a first come first serve basis so as soon as you place the deposit that secures the property for you. Now the $4.99 deposit is then credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple. There are no other commissions or fees, so the total purchase price for this property is just the $60,000. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message. We'll respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website and look at our properties and watch our property videos and then share this information with all your family, friends, and colleagues. It would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. Please feel free to contact us anytime. Thank you and God bless.